What's going on guys, Shadow G here, and uh, yeah, I just dropped a video on Sunday. This is crazy. I don't usually drop videos on Sunday, and this is kind of my day off for this long form video stuff, but um, I want to talk about Prismatic in an overall sense. Uh, my personal experience with Prismatic is a lot with the Titan, and I have a lot to say on that. Overall, this expansion is incredible. I think it's near perfection in my opinion, but if there was one knock, it would be the Prismatic class altogether. Um, it definitely varies on which class you are going to be. I think Titans are the worst. Warlocks are fine or fun or manageable. And then Hunters are just like really, really good. So yeah, we'll get into all that details. But before we jump into all that conversation stuff, if you guys enjoyed this content and want more videos from me, whether it's Destiny 2 or any other game I cover on the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when I do drop more content because you certainly don't want to miss it because uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Now, when it comes to Prismatic, I think the idea is there, but years of kind of unbalanced classes have really been highlighted here. Um, I don't care what anyone says. Hunters by far are the best class in the game in anything they do. They have so many different variety of options and ways to play that they have such a dynamic sandbox potential that Prismatic really does highlight how good hunters are warlocks and titans on the other hand i feel like while they do have their excelling meta builds and subclasses and aspects and stuff like that the variation and the amount you can do when it comes to mixing and matching and doing different things i feel like is highlighted in prismatic of being on the weaker side compared to hunters therefore i'm gonna say it prismatic titan as of right now with no exotic class items in the world or at least we don't know how to get them it's pretty trash uh, i do think warlocks are much better than titans with prismatic but hunters are just i think the goal that bungie wishes prismatic was for every single class and a lot needs to be changed with the way aspects and certain things work to make prismatic for other classes much much better i do think warlocks do have a quick future of being very juicy prismatic builds but titans man as a titan main i have been trying to make this shit work. Let me tell you, I have been thoroughly, thoroughly mixing, matching, and trying things out. I just don't know how much more I can do. I will say this, the brand new void aspect is fun, but I don't know how viable it is. Leaving Consecration and Knockout being the only two aspects that truly are worth the build craft. And that is honestly crazy to say. Uh, Diamond Lance isn't really something worthwhile. And Drager's Lash has really been overshadowed by a Banner of War aspect where I haven't really used this in forever. Uh, the Fragments are also interesting as a whole for Prismatic. There's a lot of, you know, these fragments go across different classes they're not class specific so the fragments are certainly there to be something but the aspects are really holding back the titan and same thing for the warlocks but again i do think the warlocks get a lot more of a pass there uh the brand new super for titan is incredible same thing with warlocks but yeah it's just the aspects for the titan class are really holding it back and one of the biggest issues with for example strand on prismatic with a titan is the lack of woven mail in banner of war these are things that can really, really bring up the regeneration for your melee attack. And the most powerful melee attack in the Prismatic class is the Frenzied Blade from Strand. And the cooldown, base cooldown, is 242. That is on the heavier side altogether for a melee cooldown. And while you do get multiple, this practically is the main way of playing and using your melee in a build sense. And Consecration, while you get three to four of them, if, you, if you're using a uh, specific arm chest that increases the power of melee count you have, nothing is too juicy. And that's really, that's really frustrating. Um, again, I'm not saying the class dynamic balance is completely horrible and Hunters are the end of the world, best thing ever saying. I just think Hunters, as someone who played a ton of Hunter to kind of lead into the final shape, obviously I'm a Titan main, I'm gonna rock the final shape campaign and I did through my Titan main first. Yeah, uh, there's a lot more variety there. And I do think, at least in this coming year, at least I hope Bungie mentions this tomorrow in their journey forward and I guess the future of Destiny, that we really do hone out the balancing and versatility of different builds and aspects in the game. That's unfortunate because I think this expansion is the best expansion that they have came out with. The story alone, the experience, the world's first raid race, the weapons, the arsenal, 
the new faction, the new location, the way the gameplay loop works. There is so much here to love. But I will admit that Prismatic as a whole is on the disappointing side. Again, we don't have exotic class items in the game right now, or at least we understand how to obtain them. So obviously things can change on that sense, but I don't see a world where those things really enhance a Titan Prismatic class, for example, or even a Warlock setup. But um, yeah, altogether, that's pretty much all I have to say on tr Prismatic as a Titan main. You Hunters, I'm sure you guys are going to mention how incredibly fun it is. Trust me, I have been using it a little bit doing the campaign on my other characters. Yeah, that shit is fun. That shit is really fun and really good. And there's a ton of versatility. And honestly, it may be one of the main ways to play Hunter from now on because of that, you know, versatility it offers. But until then, uh, that's the only one worth playing. But that's pretty much all I got to say on Prismatic as a whole. If you guys have any comments on your experience with Prismatic, whether you're a Titan, Warlock or Hunter, drop a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about it. I want to hear your thoughts on what your experience is. Maybe you feel similar to who I am if you guys aren't a hunter or maybe you're a hunter and you disagree and you think Prismatic is ass as a whole. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys also enjoyed the conversation and enjoyed this video, definitely drop this video a like, helps out the video a ton. And for more content from me, like I said earlier, there's a ton of it on the way. Definitely hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when I do drop more content because you don't want to miss it. There's tons of stuff coming out and on the way. But until then, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. That's all I got for this one. Shout out to here and I'm out. Two, three, let's go.